Hey, it's Shai Sarai, and I'm on a weight loss journey here on YouTube, so be sure to subscribe to see how I do. Uh, in this video, we're going to go on a walk, and I'm going to share my experience with the Christian Bell Diet. Alright, what is it? So Christian Bell is this British actor who lost around 60 pounds in just four months for his starring role in The Machinist, uh, a movie that came out in 2004. Looking online, there are some inconsistencies about how he did it, but it appears that he exercised, smoked tobacco, uh, consumed only one apple, one can of tuna, and black coffee each day, along with the occasional whiskey. Um, lots of other YouTubers have done this diet. Including Erica X Humphreys, um, I'll link to her video down below. And how did I go about it? So you probably saw that I put vegetarian in the title, so let's see what I did. Hey guys, it is day one of the Christian Bell Machinist Diet. I'll be drinking this Califia Unsweetened Black Coffee, but <laughs> you'll notice the coffee in my mug is looking suspiciously brown. And that's because I did add some unsweetened almond milk just to improve the taste. All right, so I had that coffee at around eight o'clock. It is now like 1.30 and I am about to have my apple. Um, the diet also calls for tuna, but I am trying to move away from eating meat. So um, I Googled it and it looks like chickpeas are supposed to be a good substitute for tuna. Um, not sure, not sure. Let me uh, see what I can do with this and come back. So here's my tuna substitute. Um, there's apples, of course, and then I put the garbanzo beans in my food processor and then mixed in some cauliflower dip and black pepper. Put a little bit of basil on top too. Uh, over here, the rest of the apples, I put some cinnamon on it. And then I have been working on my huge water bottle <laughs> all day long. So I think I'm almost done. It's 64 ounces. Day two coffee. Okay, I totally spilled it. Ignore that, ignore that. Day two tuna substitute, uh, chickpeas with Miracle Whip and sweet relish, apples and cinnamon, and lots of water. Oops, forgot the basil. Still day two, I'm gonna have a bit of coffee, almond milk, and almond whipped cream. Yes, it's day three. Um, I have some coffee with almond milk and almond whipped cream. It is the last meal. So we've got my tuna substitute, which is chickpeas, cauliflower dip, and seasoning. We've got the apples and water. Did I do any exercise with this diet? So day one, I didn't exercise at all. Um, on day two and day three, I did the Jillian Michaels 30 day shred, which is 20 minutes and 10 minutes of yoga. All right, so how did I feel during this diet? Day one was great, you know, I've never done this diet before, so I had that excitement of trying something new. Um, I'm also very familiar with fasting, so having such low calories in a day wasn't really a big deal when you're used to going like a whole day without eating. <laughs> but day two was another story, so I had already done it once before, so the newness was already gone. Um, I was off work that day, so I was just sitting around the house with all this food. Um, it just took a lot of mental toughness, and because I was kind of using my discipline and willpower towards sticking to just this diet, um, I found that I was very unproductive in other areas, so yeah, uh, day two sucked. And day three sucked as well, um, just kind of the same thing, you know, a lot of mental toughness to stay on point. Um, and then when I did have the meal, I had a little bit of a stomach ache afterwards. I'm not sure what that was about, but yeah, no fun. Did I lose any weight? All right, so you can see in this clip here that I started out at 161.6 pounds. And the morning after doing the diet, I was 159.1 pounds. So that means I lost 2.5 pounds. Now if you're anything like me, you do a crazy diet and you expect to lose like 10 pounds in 3 days, but so I personally believe in CICO or calories in versus calories out. Um, calorie tracking is extremely hard without the use of a scientific lab, but I try. <laughs> so you can see I've made some assumptions here. I'm thinking I burn around 1800 calories while sedentary, you know, sitting at my desk, walking around the house. 
and then burned an extra 200 from exercise. I did not follow the diet to a T. I believe if you follow it to a T, uh, you would only be consuming around 250 calories. I'm gonna say I had about 400 with all the little modifications I made. So that gives me a daily deficit of 1600 calories. So when I multiplied that daily deficit by three days and divided it by one pound, I was thinking that I was going to lose about 1.4 pounds over the three days, but it was a very pleasant surprise to actually lose 2.5. Would I do it again? Never say never, but my answer right now is no. You know, first off, I couldn't even do it properly. Um, I'm trying to move towards plant-based, so that means no tuna. And I also am not down with the black coffee. Um, and then just everything I talked about before with how I felt. So thinking about all that, I would not do it again. And that's it. Um, if you have any questions, don't hesitate to leave a comment down below. Thank you so, so much for watching. Don't forget to like and subscribe, and I will talk to you soon.